Hey, how are we going? Result is an interesting type. It's kind of a meta type because its purpose almost changes depending on how it's being used. We think of result as sort of being analogous to exceptions because of its distinction between the OK side and the ER side and ER being associated with errors. But there's a little bit of prior art uh, that sort of makes result kind of seem a little bit more like a Y junction than just a, you could think of an exception, exceptions as kind of uh, diverging directly from the uh, standard control flow, sort of. <laughs> Hopefully you won't mind my terrible trolley railroad analogy. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at result. Here is its definition. You can see that we've got like quite a lot going on inside very few characters. Result is parameterized by two type variables, T and E. The OK side is uh, uh, associated with the T or the kind of the standard or OK side, uh, whereas an E is uh, with the ER side. This is the definition within the standard result module. Uh, the fascinating thing about the ER side is that there is no trait bound on the standard error, error, the error trait in the standard error module. That is, you can put whatever you want in the E. Huh. The other thing that makes Rust really complicated in some ways, especially for beginners, is that when people are exposed to Rust, they see a single type parameter. So for example, in stand, the standard IO module, the standard format module, the type result, sorry, the kind of meta type, uh, is actually redefined as uh, in the ER side, is replaced with a specific type that comes from the module that is doing the the redefinition. So in the case of the standard IO module, the standard IO module provides its own error struct that happens to implement the error trait, which is defined in the standard error module, <laughs> which confusing enough is not required for a kind of entry into the ER place on error. Let me show you an example of a piece of code that uh, is a little bit different than what we normally think of. It's within Slice, and I uh, sort of the easiest way to get there is via vector, because vector or the vec of t uh implements slice oh sorry it, it accesses the methods of slice via deref um and the method that i want to show you is related to searching for something and it's called binary search so what we're doing you assume that there is some sorted list and also a sorted slice and in the example here on line three, we are looking for 13, it exists, and it's in the ninth place. Four doesn't exist on the uh, four doesn't exist in the, uh, the, the list of items and uh, defined on line one. Instead, the uh, uh, the same uh, an indice is returned to you that says, if you wanted to insert four into the list, seven would be the place to put it. And that will keep all of your items sorted. So you can see that the, uh, the error, so the, the result, uh, this last syntax, which is a little bit confusing, uh, we ask for one, one is slightly ambiguous. It doesn't matter where it goes where it could be inserted and so rust actually returns a range of places where you could put it uh where you, where you, where you could put one if you wanted to add another one in um and i think what's kind of fascinating there is 
that the exception mechanism or what we think of as the exception mechanism isn't used in a way that uh, we would normally associate with errors. If you look at the error trait, and I will uh, do so by uh, going back and go into standard error. The error trait itself actually relates to displaying or reporting the error. Whereas result is being used for reacting in some way. The err side of the result is giving the programmer or the program, I suppose, some extra context to be able to go through the OK side eventually. It's not being used to uh, essentially halt the program entirely. And the other, this propagating uh, mechanism says that we could, if we wanted to, pass the result back to a some other function which might have even more context and know what to do. So yeah, I find that this is kind of a fascinating thing. The error trait relates to displaying or reporting the error to end users, whereas we're using result in the uh, result is a, is a slightly different. How do I even express this? I don't even know. I want to say result is being behaving uh, in a slightly different context and. If you can understand that distinction, your programs are going to become richer. Uh, there is one reason. So the one question you may have is like, well, why not define my own enum, like which might be either. So I either going the A side or the B side uh, instead of overloading um, this error handling mechanism. And if I look in the source code, there's a really handy annotation that uh, the compiler understands, which is must use. Your users, when they see a result, they kind of understand what they are, how to handle a, uh, a result. They understand that it has two sides and cognitively it is intuitive. And by the way, the compiler will add a warning if your uh, downstream users of your crate end up ignoring the error side or the B side if you were to define your own enum as A and B. Okay, so I hope that that's been fun and uh, feel free to check out any of the future videos. Uh, I'm always very curious as to uh, how people are getting on with Rust and if there's anything that I can do to uh, improve uh, the learning experience, I'm more than happy to add further explanation as much as I can. Okay, cool. Take care. Bye-bye.